Hey guys, and a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea. Or if this is your first time here, a very warm welcome to you as well. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, or night, depending on when you're watching this. Right guys, tonight I'm actually going to be making a chocolate mousse with a layer of salted caramel. Now this is absolutely delicious. If you've got a sweet tooth or you like desserts, you're going to fall in love with this. I mean, I don't really have a sweet tooth, but I find this fantastic as well. So this is what you're going to need, guys, if you want to give it a go. First of all, you'll need 130 grams of plain chocolate. You'll need four eggs, which you're going to separate. 200 ml of double cream, 250 grams of caster sugar, set aside one tablespoon and keep the rest for your caramel sauce, 110 grams of butter, 80 ml of water, again your four egg whites, your four egg yolks, two teaspoons of salt for your salted caramel and some chocolate for decorating the top. I'm actually using Rolos tonight because that goes perfectly with the salted caramel. Right guys, so let's move on and see what we do next. Right guys, the first thing you want to do is get your chocolate melted for your chocolate mousse. So just put your chocolate into a glass bowl and put that over some boiling water. You don't actually want the bowl touching the water, so you just want to create some steam underneath, just enough to melt your chocolate. Don't put it up too high because obviously you don't want to burn it. So once it's melted guys, you can go over and start your mousse. So into your mix, you can either use, you know, a stand mix like I'm using or just use a hand mixer. So you just want to get your egg whites into the bottom and give them a good whisk until they form white stiff peaks. Just as if you're making meringue. And once it's uh, stiff, you want to drop in a tablespoon of caster sugar. I'm really sorry about the lighting, guys. One of the, one of the spotlights has gone off in my kitchen and it's made this really dull looking, so hopefully you can see things okay. So it should be really glossy by this stage, guys. So that's you ready. You can add in your uh, yolks, add in your egg yolks to your melted chocolate and give it a good mix in. And again, this will go really glossy. So once your eggs are thoroughly combined into your chocolate, Go ahead and drop it into your egg white mixture and just gently fold it in. You don't want it, you know, totally combined, just about half and half. And once you've done that, you can drop it into your serving glasses, just about halfway up. Because you're still your salted caramel and your cream to go on top, so you don't want to fill them too far up. And again, I'm really sorry about the lighting, guys, so hopefully you can see this okay. So once you've done that, just give them a wee shake to knock some air out and then just pop them into the fridge whilst you're doing your caramel. So in a, a large pan, guys, you want to get your sugar in and also your water and just pop it onto a sort of medium heat. Stir in all your sugar and you're just basically dissolving your sugar into your water. So you want to try and get this as clear as possible and onto a simmer. It might take a wee while, but just bear with it, stay with it and, you know, keep stirring because obviously you don't want the sugar to burn. Then once it's clear and it's starting to thicken up, you want to drop your cream and your butter in and stir this quite quickly to combine everything. And it'll go this lovely yellow colour. Now you just want this to darken. And keep stirring all the time. Now this may, might take about 10-15 minutes, but you do need to keep with it and keep stirring because like I say guys, you don't want it to burn. You're just looking for it to get to a nice caramel co colour. And it'll go lovely and thick and velvety. And you can just go ahead at this stage guys and pop in your salt. Now just to add salt to, you know, to your own taste, just depends how salty you want it. I've just put two sort of two tables, uh, sorry, two teaspoons in. And once your caramel's ready, guys, just pop it into a jug and set that aside just to cool a wee bit. Now you want to get your cream ready now, guys, so just pop the remainder of your double cream into either a stand mix again or you can just use a hand mixer. Now this will only take a couple of minutes to get to this stage and that's your cream done, guys. 
So all you want to do now is get your mousse back out your fridge and top that with a layer of your caramel sauce. Now this is lovely and velvety. Pop in as much as you want, but bear in mind you'll have obviously still your cream to put in so you don't want it too far up. Pop your cream in and I've just topped mine off with some Rolo chocolates. But you can use whatever kind of chocolate you want. And that's it. Guys, you can either eat it right away or pop it back into the fridge and have it later. I actually prefer putting it back into the fridge, but it's entirely up to you. So that's it, guys. Absolutely delicious. So thank you again for popping by and seeing what's going on. And I highly recommend you give that a go because it's so, so it's delicious. So until next time, guys, take care of yourselves and I hope to see you in the next one. So bye for now.